Hello and welcome back to another machine key. We are in for a second series. It is the fifth era update and it's the biggest update. Uh, Jan has released his own words. We're, we're currently sat at Omaha. So first off, we've changed uh, to US town names. We'll zoom out. We've also gone with the biggest map possible. I was umming and ahhing at the end of the last series whether we'd continue on our medium sized map or go for a massive one. This one might see us through to the 6th era, so uh, we'll have a shorter 6th era, era look. Yeah, that's not a mouthful. And uh, yeah, so we've got lakes as well. And a lot of options available to us. A little bit easier. We can see it all there. It looks quite flat, but I can assure you it's not very. We do have some some ranges. It's I, I went for the, the flatter map due to the fact that a lot of our map is taken up with lakes. That to me seems like a good compromise. Right, we need to start. If you haven't seen the game or you're not sure how the game starts, I will try and talk you through some of what we're doing at the start of this. However, if you want to watch the first series, probably the first few videos, you, you'll see all of the learning process there. I explain everything as I'm going along and then come back here where we'll be we'll be going for something a little more advanced. First off, let's uh, head into build mode. You can you can press space to flip between the two quite easily. We uh, need to not build roads. We need to build us a station. I don't mind actually building on this this hill here, although I don't think you can. Oh, you can build like that. OK, well, that's made my mind up. It's going to cost us a little more than it should do due to terraforming. But having it up like that is kind of cool. That should be six. It's the maximum you can have for a station is six to start with, although you can upgrade that later on. Right, we're going to go there so we can encompass the the church if we click on it. We've got all the buildings that way. We don't have to worry about a uh, if we go into extensions, we can get a waiting room, which increases this capture catchment area. You can see here by two squares. So that will take it to that way to this way all the way around, which is lovely. I think it's all the way around. We'll, we'll check on that when I do it. Now, we're not going to connect any track up just yet. We're going to pick our two starter towns. I've gone with one with a church. A church, if we click on it, produces 10 people per cycle. And then at the end of that, you get 10 people. Ideally, you would get two towns that are medium distance away. Uh, given them we've got a massive map, we could either go Sacramento and Omaha or well, <laughs> I say that. that. That's a bit of a mission to get down there. It is quite close, but you don't want to be too close to another city. One of the uh, one of the things you need to be aware of is the closer your route from here to here would be less money for Norfolk to Omaha. So we could go that way from Sacramento. It's actually quite a distance. It might be worth doing that for our starter town, given... Uh, I, I didn't real. I was going to choose Norfolk, but that is quite a distance. Yeah, let's let's go for Sacramento. I want the I want a balance between distance and and uh, income to start with our first town. Where do we want this? Should we set this one up here as well? Will that work? Yes. The reason this one's expensive is because we're plowing through forests, which to deforest costs you money. Now, does that get? It doesn't get that house. We're going to need to get that house. So somehow we're going to have to build. Okay, we can build on a ledge. That's lovely. Yes, that's brilliant. Perfect. Okay, we've got the start. We've got the start. Now we're going to find our secondary town links. We're not linking this up yet and spending money on track. Uh, we could. Well, that might be an idea, actually. We, we, should, we should build the track. Building tracks is pretty straightforward. He says, come on, what's happened to the track? There we go. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? Right then, straightforward. <laughs> As I mess it up, good job. It's uh, let, just left click and drag and it builds it. We need to head over to here, 
question is, how much would it cost to go through all the... I would rather not go all up and downy everywhere. There we go. That should work for us. Okay. Well, we need to head out a little bit for this. We might need to uh, do some terraforming. That's unfortunate. I'd rather not go out too far. Right, the difficulty I have the game on means that we can't reverse trains. Well, we can reverse trains, we just can't... We can't flip them. They won't be able to flip. So we, we have to turn them around like this or suffer the consequences, which would be... I know that sounds terrible, doesn't it? It's not actually that bad. All it means is if we we don't turn them around like this, we'll we'll go in reverse mode and our train will travel travel at about I think it's 50%. It might even be less than that. It's either 50 or 25. It's been a while since we played. Okay. So we have our basics in. We're also gonna have to get our our depot in as well. 62's okay as long as we're not doing anything in fact can we hook up out here somewhere middle mouse button will rotate that looks kind of cool I like that one that one's a bit wonky if we do put it here it's it's gonna be uh, give us options to branch off and reuse the depot we can place as many depots as we want so that's gonna be our first first connection we're going from uh, Sacramento there to Omaha. It's not, <laughs> it's not uh, geographically correct. They're just random place town names per town. So, yes, you'll you'll see some oddities on the map. Right then, we need to signal up. Signaling is fairly straightforward. Uh, as the way I use it, I just uh, use block signals rather than chain signals although chain signals do have a use we may use them this episode this block wouldn't release until we didn't have this signal here this block wouldn't release until it pa uh, the train passed this signal so it would um, block this entire one-way section it'll become apparent if you're not used to the signal in, in Machinki uh, once we get trains running and I can and I can give you a, a visual representation of what's going on and point it out right there we go that's the basic signaling done we're only gonna have one train on here we're gonna buy the train but we're not oh no we're not no I'll, I'll tell you why we're doing this we're actually gonna find our second town we should be able to afford a train trains are not that expensive at the beginning our second route wants to be the one that takes advantage of distance and we're gonna place a station at either end but not build the track so that people can start waiting and I think we're gonna go for Plano and Houston it's a big old run but it's gonna earn us a lot of money that's that's further than I actually planned it to be there is there is Albuquerque over there and Los Angeles there do you know let's stick to our guns I'm gonna go gonna go with Houston Houston you have a station yeah, yeah you knew that was coming right we'll put you in that should be good they can start getting people waiting they'll just keep sending people there until they get to the maximum number now the reason I'm doing these two is they both have churches time to play finally <laughs> I hear you say We'll switch back into nice mode. What will, what will happen now is, if we click on this church, uh, as time progresses, you'll see this fill up. Once this fills up to here, 10 people will head on over to the station. And the same sort of happens for a house. But if we go to the house, you'll see it, it doesn't take as long for a person to appear at the station as it does for the church. I don't know whether, well, it says the town center this is like the town center building here doesn't seem to be producing any people this one is uh, so that's a bad example isn't it let's go over here let's go and check out other town Plano it has has a few more buildings it also wait a minute it has wood we need to do so there goes our first person 
we need to do something with this station right here. Okay, we're not close enough to the sawmill. However, we will be if we put in a waiting room. You'll see we'll also en encompass the, the sawmill. That means if we go to the station, we can accept passengers if we want to. Uh, the same would go for the uh, planks from the sawmill. We might be able to do that. We might be able to use one single station and put a bunch of extensions on it. But here you go, our people are waiting. If we, uh, if we go back to the info for this, we'll go back into this mode. There we go, this is the house. It is almost full. I'm gonna guess, yeah, okay. So the town, town hall, as it would be, doesn't seem to produce people. But I don't know whether that's a bug. I've, I've never really noticed before. And here we go. And there we go. Ten people. Uh, they all go piling onto the, onto the platform there. There's now 12 people waiting there. The trains we're going to build carry 75 that we start with. So that's why I'm playing it currently. Because if we go back up to here, we've only got eight people waiting at uh, Sacramento. So we're just going to wait a little bit. We're probably going to head off to Omaha first because that has the church. Now, as we go through the series, we're going to get our first train on shortly. As we go through the series, I will fast forward and get us some tokens. All we can do at the moment is collect these coins. If we go here, our engineers are said to be close to new developments of the steam engine. This is being fueled by the latest research and planned opening of the first foundry in our region. As a result, they might soon be able to build faster and more powerful steam locomotives. All they need are the resources to complete the many years of research. So what they're going to need is some coal and some wood. Tokens, these are. Which we're not making yet, but we will. We need to, to do that. We're just letting these build up while we Take a look around the map. You'll notice it is autumn, September, and the trees are changing. Isn't that beautiful? Another addition to uh, this update is the lovely fields. They're a bit square, but everything's square. Oh, we've got sunflowers. That's adorable. What? A, what's this field here? Corn? Grain of some sort? Anyway, that's wonderful. It is a grid-based game. As you can see when you switch into build mode. So uh, I don't mind things being gridded like this. It still looks beautiful. They're harvesting right now. If you're wondering what's happening here. You see them harvest. There are no farmhouses. But they, the, the fields are being harvested. As they go through uh, the season. Which I think is rather cool. Anyhow. How are we doing over here? Omaha. You're almost ready. We're not going to leave it till it's the max, I don't think. Although, it, it's very tempting. As with all games of this nature, the start is, is always a little, a little slow, but very important. What you do at the start then leads uh, to how your, your game progresses. And for me, I want us to, to have a solid start, which, which we're doing. Where's our other town? That's got 20 people now. And that one's got 25, so we're doing all right down there. Probably when the next church... Yeah, once this gets up, we can we can actually fast forward it, can't we? You can press 1 through 4 to increase the speed. 1 being paused, uh, 2 being normal time, and then 3 and 4. Incre if we open these, you can see them. We've got maximum game speed, faster game speed, normal game speed, and pause. Okay, I think that will do us. We need to start getting train on. We'll just put press play. Right, engines. As you can see, we don't have wood tokens or plank tokens. We'll call them wood tokens. We only have cash. If you, if anybody's returning from the previous series, you'll remember I come up with all sorts of names for these and rarely do I end up using the correct one. So it's gonna cost us 40 tokens for the uh, porter, so we're going to have one of those. 
and the coaches that I'm going for are going to be these big boys here because they carry 15 and they're only slightly heavier than the Pullman. So to me, that makes sense. You get more value for your money. They're, they're obviously a bit longer as well. So you have to bear that in mind, whatever you want to do. Things you have to look out for on here. You do get penalized if you carry too much weight and it will slow you down. You'll also get penalized if your train is too long. I just did that by accident. But here we go as an example. You'll see the numbers have turned red now. And instead of doing 40 miles per hour, we only do 39. Not the biggest problem in the world, but we're all so long, which means it will be a bit slower at loading. So there we go. We'll, we'll sell that one back. But uh, there was the example. Uh, let's sell that. We lost a bit of money with that. When we're full, we're, on, we're gonna be within the, the up to 168 ton. So this is empty, we're traveling at 155 tons. But uh, when people get on board, if it's a full train, it'll go up to 165. Uh, we've got 260 brake horsepower and our length will fit on the platforms, which are only six at the moment. So we're going to give this train some orders because we want it to go a specific way. We're also going to have a full train, which is absolutely wonderful. So let's go to the orders. We're going to add waypoints first. We, it shouldn't need them because we've got a one way system. Do you know what? Let's let's see if the game can do it. But we do want to go to that station first. We can start it then. And then we want to go to that station after. Oh yes, it doesn't toggle. You have to keep clicking the add. Now that we have the stations listed here, we could rename these. But now that we have the stations listed here, it's 77 waiting at Omaha. And we've got 43 wait, waiting at Sacramento. Can, uh, we, see, we can name these Omaha, near Omaha. Don't need that on there anymore, do we? There we go, Omaha station there. And we'll do the same here. I mean, it will make it a bit a bit easier. Oh, I don't actually know how to sacrament spell. I don't know how to Sacramento. I don't know how to spell Sacramento. Although it does pretty much look like it is pronounced. So we don't need that on anymore. We'll accept that. Now, when we go to the orders for the train, which you see, our, our train is full of people now. Oh, we're, we've got our first quest. We'll take a look at that shortly. I need to explain this. We are earning 76.4 cash tokens or money tokens and we're carrying 75 so we're we're over a hundred percent. I did want to try and get as close to one for one on our uh, return for carrying passengers and apparently this is like ideal because we've got a little over which is absolutely wonderful i'm i'm super happy now if we would have been any closer we, we were running i mean it's not really a problem you can you can run you can run short distances like a little metro thing and help two cities grow which i'll i'll need to explain shortly but there we go we'll go to our orders now we've got this quest which we need to uh, start thinking about we need to make some money though to uh, create our second route uh, is deliver a hundred logs into any sawmill so let me introduce myself I am Jack Tamiel LMBR deputy count deputy come don't know what CO is deputy what coordinator I don't know our company plans to invest in the development of local industry that's why I contacted you first we need to deliver logs to our sawmills Forests are all around us, so you should have no problem finding them. If you succeed, we will pay you well, and we might have more work for you. Jack Tamiel, sales rep. There we go. Right, you'll see this, we might have more work for you. If you complete this, which is which is recommended as you, you get a reward. You can see here we got, uh, we'll get some, some coins there. We can, uh, we can unlock future quests. 
There's also time limits on some, which is why I was pausing at the beginning while we uh, ummed and ahed about where we were going. I did have a plan. The plan has changed. Like I said, I was going to go to Norfolk. Given this distance, I feel like changing my changing my plan was a good idea. We're just going to let our train do that. We're going to now look for an ideal an ideal logging camp uh, and earmark that. What we really want is something like this. This is beautiful. We want a forest that goes to a sawmill, that goes to a tool works, and ideally with a coal mine nearby. We've got two coal mines. I, I, I'm fairly sure when we last played it, you can two forests can feed a sawmill. But uh, you can upgrade them as we go, and we'll look into that more. Now, as I was saying, uh, the other option would be to run a short train service and the reason being if we go to Omaha uh, did I click on Omaha? No, I clicked on the station click on Omaha if we bring this up here it says 0 of 300 what that will do is it will give us another house once it reaches once it reaches 300 people delivered to this station now unlike uh, some games that you may have played or that I'm currently playing. People from towns don't have a specific destination. It's more like a people factory and they'll just keep throwing them out onto the platform and it's up to you where you take them. So you can, uh, there you go. We just delivered 50, 54, which was how many people were on that train. So we've now delivered 54 people to Omaha. And once we, once we deliver another, oh, what's this? math do some math why not once we deliver another come on you could do that 246 there we go 246 people i didn't just go and get a calculator i promise 246 people uh we'll get an extra house here which if we click on the house will we'll give us another another a people generator person generator now if we go to sacramento we can also check how many that also requires 300 but since since Omaha here has a church that produces uh, multiples of people we should help Sacramento grow quicker than we're making Omaha grow so they'll, they'll kind of balance each other off as we'll have more more houses here but we'll have the church making up for it there. Okay, how are we doing down here? We've got a we've got our place sorted near Laredo and San Jose. I'm going to trip over some of these. Uh, we've got our station at Plano. Doesn't matter how many people we have on here. Uh, well, it does. We want to start thinking about hooking them up once we reach the 500 maximum people that could wait there. But it would start making us money very quickly. Now, if we go to Houston, we've got 80 people there. Also have to remember, this is a long distance. So by the time it gets to the next station, it's going to have produced more people. I would prefer, I want to do this, absolutely want to do this. But I would, put, I believe this is, yeah, you can't postpone this or refuse it. This is uh, part of the, what would it be, be part of the story. So you kind of have to do the quest. Well, I guess you could technically ignore it, but it, it's going to happen passively because we we really want the tokens anyway, right? Because we want to progress and we want to get new trains. And so we're going to start off building, maybe. We're not going to be able to do much just yet until this train has made a few journeys. Where are we? We're, we're coming back into... We've just left. We've only got 16, you see, already. That's why I wanted that uh, initial boost. It's going to take a while for, uh, for our towns to grow. You can see it's not really worth... To be honest, it's not worth having a train this long. However, if I remember correctly, there is no... There are no running costs for trains. Yes, there's no upkeep for train carriages. Only the engine which costs us one token per cycle or per year. I can't remember which. I think it's per, per month. 
we'll see at the end of the month that should go minus one token did that happen i don't know <laughs> i didn't see it happen there we have it we're gonna we're gonna fast forward i'll probably do a combination of fast forwarding and and edits where where there's not much happening but uh just to start us off i want to talk about my plans and welcome you back to machinki obviously I've been looking forward to playing this. I've missed the sound effects. It's very, it makes me feel nostalgic, even though it's it's a fairly new game. So what we got in the in the future then? We can not. Oh, if you if you are new, I should show you this, shouldn't I? We can, don't change the name. Don't back. Don't do that. We can get on board, which is very loud. But yeah, you can ride on board the train. The track, <laughs> because we're going up and down, the track's not not the most realistic. But you have to bear that in mind. It's it's cool enough. It looks good. There are there are plans to be able to drive these trains yourself, control the uh, the speed, etc. There you go. We're on our our bumpy wonky track there which I don't mind we can we can also do this there you go we can blow the whistle you can also uh, ride along at the side I do like the cab view oh you can even if we change uh, this one we can even get in the carriage there look we're actually in one of the passenger cars. Isn't that cool? Now we're we're further away from the engine. We get all the way to the back car. Oh, there we go. We're in the furthest to the back. And then you can change all these and change seats. And look out the window. Oh, there was one where we were sat down, weren't there? That's a nice one. Oh, I wish I could hide this. So we could make it smaller, but I can't remember how you hide the UI. I think there is a way. I'm sure there's a way to hide the UI. I will remember. I'll go and look up. <laughs> I'll go and look up my own video. Anyhow, let's get off. Let's get off the train. Quite literally, if you look at the carriages when we come up. Oh, I look that we've got a little staircase there. That's amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm glad we built it on a bit of a raised up section now. Notice the curtains closing in the carriages. So when there are people on, there you go. They close the curtains. Oh, I do love this game. Right. How are we doing? How's our money? We've got 309 at the moment. It's going to cost us a small fortune to hook this up. I'm beginning to wonder if it's not a better idea to hook up another short distance one well we should be looking for maybe three anyway you may be asking yourself but why Grant? well the more money we have coming in the faster we can expand later on but we need a good base for our for our industry so should we go for somewhere shorter i don't know i feel like one of these big paydays is gonna it's gonna it's gonna pay off Yes, there you go. Should we see? I would like to uh, end the episode with a with a good, strong, long route. We're going to wind our way through the, the lakes there. It's almost a Great Lakes map, isn't it, really? Now, we can... Yeah, we can. We can should be able to just head through there. If we avoid too much forestry, we, we should be all right. Now, ideally, you want to stay straight as much as possible. So going forward might be a better idea there. We go straight. Yeah, we can go straight. We do plow through a lot of forest. See, that's already 52 coins to go to go through there. So we don't want to plow through too much of this forest, do we? That would be the ideal place. Yes, it's going to cost us an arm and a leg, but uh, we are we have that other train running. Now we could take out loans. Loans are an option. This is a long old journey. Plano to Houston. Can we do it? How far are we going to get? We uh, Here's one thing to be careful of. 
don't run out of coins because if your train doesn't have the funds at the end of the month or whenever it ticks over you will have a train that's running extremely extremely slow see ah, that that's that's a bit close we need to go somewhere like there okay that's how far we've got <laughs> we, we probably want to play this on fast forward don't we to get some money in come on you're, you're still not carrying the tremendous amount of people that's another reason why a, a long route is probably more beneficial as you're gonna generate more people each time and then you're gonna earn more uh, per delivery than you would on a shorter route oh that's just pricey what do you reckon guys should we just fast forward or should we take out a loan loans have interest but it is an option you can borrow just here we have a look at our finances it, it's certainly an option for us now where's the interest for our loan interest loan share is that interest loan share possibly uh it's costing us 50 50 tokens a, a year but i think we're making far more than that that's not much is it what's that like five five tokens five tokens per hundred so five percent interest that's not too bad is it it's quite good uh, yeah we might take out a loan then and, and get moving let's as you can see the seasons going through there let's see how far we can get i mean it would be lovely if we didn't have to take out a loan how far how much is it going to cost us to get there 102 do you know that isn't bad is it you can right click to cancel if you if you uh, drag it and panic a little bit it wouldn't have let us build that anyhow i think we can take out 50 at a time but we do seem to be getting the the money in at, at this speed pretty rapidly there goes our train back i just saw minus one yeah beginning of the month there you go so it's monthly 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 costs beautiful we've almost got the money we're getting there i don't know whether tracks have upkeep yet there was some plan to implement that and uh, that would change your starting you definitely wouldn't really want to do this would you uh, this way with having stations sat there that are costing costing money go on then we're nearly done it we've nearly done it well i don't like being that close can you are you going to get to the station in time i might play that actually you're going to get to the station in time where are you you're just showing up. There we go. That's fine. So we're not making much money on this run. Because uh, it's taken a long time for our our people to generate on the platform. Because we, we don't have much. Although we have nearly got... No, we haven't. We're only halfway. How's that nearly, Grand? The math is terrible, sir. So what, is, what does a waiting room do it increases loading speed not an issue because we're, we're not struggling with uh, getting people on board at the moment and it increases the capacity to 500 plus 500 so if we look at the uh, station statistics here we could have left it until we had a thousand people on there let's go and have a look at our, our our towns down here see we've only got 230 so and 280 there Plano being slightly bigger than Houston on this map. And they both have churches, except Plano has an extra town. Okay, it's going to cost us a bit. I'm going to say, in the interest of progression, taking out another 200 will be fine. I think that will be fine. That will... We'll, we'll pay it off as soon as we can but we need to get this built ASAP how much is that yeah because it's it's a the loops cost a fortune worth it I want to go that way because I don't know what we're doing with the sawmill just yet but how much is that 14 oh we've got another quest the Ministry of Industry and Trade is offering subsidies for medium-sized companies to grow right now we're too small are we 
To get it, we have to own at least six trains. Otherwise, they'll think we're just a few people in a cupboard. I, I, I remember this quest. And we are. We, our company, our offices are a cupboard. If we do this, it might mean we get more subsidy opportunities in the future. We are not going to refuse. We're going to do every quest thrown at us. And we'll get our first wood tokens there. Okay, it's been playing in the background, thankfully. So we've got some money. We might need a passing loop on here at some point. But for now, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're not going to be able to afford too much in the way of trains. Uh, passing loop does sound like a good idea though, doesn't it? And we want it to be about halfway. Which if we line those up roughly at either end of the screen... That would be middle of the screen. Where's the middle of the screen? About there. Of course it's on the bend. Why wouldn't it be? Well, it doesn't need to be too long, does it? It doesn't really need to have to be perfect either. Okay, so let's get a passing loop in. Uh, it only needs to be six long, obviously. Uh, it's only 22. I like it. We'll signal that up. It doesn't really matter how close to the junction these signals are. But they don't seem to collide. He says, this will be the first time that they do. Right, get them all signalled up. They do cost money, signals, so you have to make sure you have the funds for those too, because it could go wrong. I like my signals on the outside, since we're in the US. They are on the right side here. Quite literally on the right side. Uh, in the UK, they're on the other side. Get you in there, and there. Oh, it's like I've never been away. Brilliant. I think we've done everything there. Two trains on here might might be needed. That's why I'm doing that. And we can put our, our depot right in the middle. And we might be able to use that then for more, more trains rather than keep building depots. Because if we go here, 50... 50 coins for a depot is pricey if you have to keep building them. And we have a nice section here. Uh, if we rotate this round, we have a nice section here that doesn't require any trees to be felled. Now, where do I want this? In fact, we could go. Let's have a look what's around. Uh, we don't want to be too close to the edge of the map, do we? We want to be up here somewhere. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Eventually, we'll double track. And we'll get more throughput. But that's 62 coins. We're going to have to wait till we can afford the train. And we're going to have to also make sure that we can uh, fund that train for this entire journey. Which would be... It's got to first get to Plano, pick up the passengers, then head all the way down here. Uh, obviously, we've got an extra loan out as well, so we're paying more interest currently. Uh, yeah, yes, here we go. Here's the blocking. You'll notice quite rightly this signal is going to be red as it, it's heading that way onto the line and this block is, is currently taken up via that train. Now if we go down here you'll see that it's, it's also blocked just there. We go onto this single line. When he passes that signal, his back end, this will turn green. Waiting for it to turn green. Come on, don't prove me wrong. There you go, just turn green. We've got a deforestation project to do, which has a time limit. This would be the perfect time to end our episode today. Uh, we've got to do that by 1934, which is 10 years. We will be able to do that because things are going to progress much quicker once we get this second route up and running which will be in uh, the next episode now. Oh, let's fast forward it. Uh, we'll get the money and we'll buy us a train before we end. All right, I'm going to make an executive decision here. We're going to take more money out. I know. I didn't bother with loans <laughs> in the previous episode. Uh, previous episode? Well, yes, in the previous episode. That was the end of last season, last series. But uh, in the previous series, I kind of avoided them. But I think in the interests of progression and the fact that I believe this will be our saviour, this line right here will be our saviour. So we're going to do it. We're going to buy as a porter. 
and we're going to get some of the uh, coach cars on there. Uh, I can't remember how many it was. I, is it four? Five. Can we afford it? Just. We got five on there. We could pause this because I don't want it sitting there taking our money away doing nothing. So we'll quickly pause it and we'll give you some orders. What we need to do, give it the first station and then start it. Look how many people are waiting in Plano. Now we can play it as it has a as a way to go or a purpose. And we're going to go and pick up them people. Then after that, we're going to go to Houston. You can see the difference there between uh, two and three houses, both with churches. They were given stations at the same time because the game was paused. Yet Houston has got 300 and Plano has 365. So here comes our train. It's going to be full for a while. And uh, hopefully it will keep up with this on its own. But uh, yes, we'll get to see exactly how much this train is going to make per full journey. And I think it's going to help us a lot and we'll be able to start paying off that loan and uh, dropping the interest a little bit on that. Let's get you into the station, shall we? There we go. Brilliant. And then we'll call it for our first first episode of the second season, the sixth era six era playthrough that's tricky to say looking forward to trying to pronounce that every episode look at the money what's that nearly three times the income there's our profit train it's gonna take a while for it to obviously go all the way round. i mean we could have looped this way around for a slightly shorter journey but when he arrives in houston that is 216 coins. That is instant. That is just instant upgrades or building another route, perhaps, and really get the money ticking in. I think we go for another route. And as soon as we can afford two new stations, uh, which I'll look around for, possibly another big route like this. Definitely. What do you reckon, guys? Or do you think this is a good idea? I kind of like that. Should we get on board? Or not on board? Should we uh, do this one? Ride along with our train. As we... Uh, oops. Don't right click. As we head off slowly. We can only do 40 miles an hour. At the moment, we have a lot of new trains to come. And given how much this money train is going to be earning, it shouldn't take us too long, should it? I like that. Brilliant. That's what that's what our uh, our first little route was back up there to Omaha and Sacramento was to fund this one and be able to uh, maintain this train as it goes through its long journey. Look at the beautiful scenery. Got the lake in the distance there. It is autumn as we go down a bit of a bump. I wouldn't mind those being straighter but, uh, or smoother, but I'll take it. It's fine grid based gotta be in picky <laughs> alright guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh, our return a bit of a slow start it won't be like that for the rest of the series and we're gonna we're gonna be setting up setting up our our entire network so that in the future we've we've got lots and lots of money to play with which means lots of infrastructure really quickly and we're going to build one massive crazy network and set us up nicely for the sixth era as well. All right, there's our passing loop. I'll explain those when we come back. But uh, I think you can probably work it out. Oh, that train is full. All the curtains are shut. Brilliant. So, until next time, take care.